I think you're going to find this video very neat. All right, today we're going to be talking about NEAT. And NEAT is a very neat thing to talk about because it's a NEAT acronym and it's a very neat pun. What NEAT stands for is non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is part of all the things that go into your total daily energy expenditure. So when it comes to weight loss, it's all about the amount of energy that comes into your body versus the amount of energy that goes out. And so NEAT plays a very large role in that. Now, it's going to vary depending on if you're a sedentary or an active person to the extent of a very sedentary person. Their NEAT uh, plus their EAT, which is exercise activity thermogenesis, is going to range from around 6 to 10% for sedentary. And for people who are very active, it can be all the way north of 50%. And so if you think about somebody who maintains their weight eating around 2,000 calories a day, that might be around 120 calories between, or for your NEAT for a sedentary person, and then around north of 1,000 for somebody who's active. So as you can see, it plays a very big role in your ability to have more energy go out, which is critical for fat loss. So we're going to take a look at a couple of graphs real quick. Right here, we have the standard thing that happens when people diet in relation to their NEAT. So let's say that this top line represents your calories. So your calories are going to be dropping as you get deeper and deeper into your diet. And at the same time, your NEAT's going to start to slow down because there's a lot of things that you would typically do when you have a higher intake of calories that you kind of stop doing as much. A good example is bouncing your leg. So if you're somebody who's eating at maintenance or in surplus, so just kind of bounce your leg while you're watching TV or you'll have plenty of energy to get up and go around and do things. But if you're far into your diet, your motivation to actually move around more is going to be way lower. So your NEAT is starting to slow down. And that's the standard thing that happens to most people as they diet. Now, you can intentionally keep your NEAT up and also increase your fat loss results. So the way that you would do, there's a lot of different things that you can do to increase your NEAT. But think about it like this, right? So as your NEAT calories going out are going down over time, there's always gonna be this gap that remains fairly stationary between uh, calories in and that calories out because your calories in are going down, but calories out are also going down. Now, if you're keeping your NEAT up, your calories out remains a lot constant, especially if you have a higher percentage of it coming from NEAT plus EAT. Isn't that neat? So, what happens when your calories continue to go down and your NEAT stays up, it increases the difference between uh, the in and out, which can enhance your fat loss progress. So it's very important that you keep your NEAT up, and here's some neat tips for you to do that. So tip number one is walk and talk. So let's say that you're somebody who's on a lot of phone calls throughout the day. You can t pick up your phone, and you can talk to somebody while sitting down on a couch or sitting down in a chair. Your NEAT is not gonna be very high. Now if you take that phone call outside or you just pace around your house, pace around your office, uh, pace around a parking lot, just wherever it is, if you're on a phone and you're walking around, you can add a lot more steps. I don't care if you are Secretary General of the UN, you can't go talking about Christopher Walken like that. He's my friend. Uh, another thing that you can do is actually have a pedometer. So a pedometer you'll find in a lot of different apps like Fitbits, most phones have them built in, even Aura rings. like. Whatever you want to have to serve as your step counter, uh, just keep in mind what your average steps are before you start dieting and try to maintain that. Because if you're somebody who's getting 10,000 steps a day in at the beginning of your diet and then 30 pounds later, you're like, oh, I'm only getting 2,000 steps a day. Well, that's a strong sign that your body is subconsciously trying to conserve energy by having you move around less. But if you keep your movement up the same, you should continue to see really good results. So another thing that you can do is a moving break. And you can set these as an alarm in your phone. So periodically, let's say every hour, you get up from your desk if you're at work, and if your office has stairs, you can just run up and down the stairs as fast as you can. Just do it one time. Do that twice a day, maybe three times a day. You'd be burning a good amount of calories and keep your energy expenditure at a really good baseline level like it was before you're heading into your diet.
Um, and then the fourth tip, we'll call it we'll call it active TV. So a lot of people when they go home like to watch TV or watch TV on weekends, and usually you're doing this from a reclined position. You're not burning a lot of energy that way. So something that you can do, like let's say every time a commercial break comes on, you can hop down into a plank, or you can do push-ups, or you can do sit-ups. <laughs> Or you can just intentionally fidget and like bounce your leg up and down. When I was a kid, that's what I would do at home. I'd always like bounce my leg up and down if I was sitting down. Didn't realize it at the time, but that was contributing to neat. My dad would always get on to me. He'd be like, Mark, quit bouncing your leg. And I have to like put a brick on it. But eventually that brick would start bouncing. I, just, I couldn't stop it. But um, yeah, that, that fidgeting can really help burn calories. And as an overweight kid, my dad should have been like, Mark, keep bouncing your leg. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> But NEAT really does uh, play a very important role because, I mean, keep in mind, when there's three things, uh, like I was talking about a little bit earlier in this video, that contribute to the total calories out part of the equation. So that's your basal metabolic rate, your BMR, which is usually around 60% of the equations. And so BMR, let's say that you're literally lying in bed motionless all day. If you did that for 24 hours, and that would be 100% of your energy expenditure. Uh, but most of us are up, moving around, and not bed-bound. So you have BMR, then you have the thermic effect of food, or TEF, and that's what your body is using energy-wise to break down the food that you're eating. So TEF is around 8 to 15% of the calories that you're going to uh, spend throughout the day. It's going to vary a lot depending on the type of food you're eating and all the different factors that go into making you who you are. If exercise and NEAT remain constant, you're creating that caloric deficit, you should see weight come off. So those are a few neat tips for keeping your neat up and finding a neat way to accelerate your fat loss progress. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content and want to see more uh, neat subjects covered and possibly some eat subjects covered, we'll dive into that. So like the video, give us comments on what you want to see next. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. See you later.